Hey, what's up? I'm Tane here with Store DJ. I've been very fortunate to have the SP404 Mark II in my hands for a couple of weeks. And today, we're going to have a really close look at my five favorite new features. First off, we have the new high resolution OLED screen. 404 enthusiasts rejoice. No longer do we have to decipher the alphanumeric screen on the SX, the A, and the OG. Like, what does that mean? Navigating menus is an absolute breeze now. We can dial in parameters such as the envelope attack, hold, and release settings. So we can soften this hi hat and turn it more into a shaker. The new sample drop feature is an absolute breeze with the screen. We can now load up a sample, hit chop. Chop either using the pads or we can do it by time division, level, or transient. This one, I might do time division. And even from here, we can actually move the start points of these back and forth and edit those samples even further. That's cool. Assign them to the pads. Cool, now we've got our chops. Woo! We no longer have to rely on the tiny text of the effects off to the side here. We've now got it all in screen. We can pick them from here and it even tells you what effect is currently selected. As well as all the practical visual feedback that we get from the screen, we've also got this lovely little customizable screensaver. Number two, upgraded pads. We've got 16 compared to 12 on the original. They are now velocity sensitive. We can also play things chromatically. Woo! We have choke groups or mute groups. as well as pad link playing two pads using one. I absolutely love the feel of the new pads. Not only are they great to play with, but they look great as well. Love them or hate them, the clicky button style pads of the OG 404 are no more. Number three, effects. The Mark II has had a massive upgrade with the effects engine. The original only able to do one effect at a time. The Mark II now has a complex bus system. By going into the effects settings, we're able to get a better understanding of the effects system. So bus one and two can be in series or in parallel. And the master bus system, bus three and four, we can save our favorites in there. They can also be modified by going in, going across to the tabs and changing the effects here and then changing the parameters. We can even modify the direct effects buttons on the outside. We can change them to whichever effect we like or we can keep them as the original design like the OGs. As well as the bus effects, we've got a whole bunch of input effects that we can use, including vocoder, guitar amp simulator, and heaps more. So what is a bus effect? In the context of the Mark II, it's just a point that we can send specific pads or tracks to. Having multiple buses means that we can separate pads to have different effects. In the case of this one, I've got these four pads being sent to bus one and these green pads being set to bus two. Bus one, I've got a reverb and bus two, I've got a tape echo. I've got bus one and two playing in parallel, which means they won't feed into one another. They both go into bus three and four, which means that we can apply our master effects. In this case, a compressor and the 303 vinyl simulator. 
giving it some extra juice. Now we can't move on without checking out some of these effects, so let's jump straight in. One of my faves is the new scatter effect. Having various parameters to really get interesting, glitchy results. We've also got a whole bunch of strange ones. Another favorite is... Ooh. SPF, I don't know what it means, but it sounds cool. The lo-fi junkies out there will absolutely love the new cassette simulation. as well as the dedicated lo-fi effect. But wait, there's more. We also have the legendary 303 vinyl simulator. That compressor is so buttery. Number four, the skip back sampling mode. This will be a welcome addition to those of you who use the resample method on the original SP404s. So let's dive in and check it out. How it works is it's always listening to the master channel, which is a little creepy, but it's delightfully handy. So here's a beat I'm working on. I want to resample this onto another pad. So I just drum away. Then hit the mark button. And it gives me the last 25 seconds of recording. I can then dial in the start and end times. and truncate and assign to a pad. Now I've got my resample to sample. Number five is DJ mode. This is an unexpected addition to the Mark II, which I've been having a lot of fun with. By hitting the D and E buttons here, we're able to get into DJ mode, which gives us a two deck DJ system. We've got channel one here and channel two here, and each button has alternative functions on it. Another great little addition to this is the Q function, which means that we can actually Q tracks through our headphones before sending it out to the master. By hitting the Q button, it means that it will be playing through the headphones and we've got our Q mix on the right here. So listen to just the Q or the master or somewhere in between. So let's have a listen to these beats.
now playing through tracks with BPMs locked together. DJ mode is a lot of fun and it's just another way to be rocking out live sets with your 404. Okay, so I kind of cheated with this a little bit. I gave you way more than five features, but between the screen, the pads, the effects, the skip back mode and DJ mode, there is just so much to play with. I'm actually a little heartbroken that I have to give this back. That's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll enjoy the Mark II release as much as I have. If you're feeling kind, please like, subscribe, and share this with the homies. I'm Tane, peace out.